Welcome to Cooking Herbs Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the DuckDuckGo Instant Answers API to find instant answers. Yeah. To get started, pop open your text editor or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. I'm going to be using the W3Schools Triad Editor, which is a pretty nice HTML editor. So yeah, let's get started. First, type a scripts tag. Script. Script source equals and paste in the link to the jQuery API. I'll put that in the description. And then close the script tag. Okay. Now make an input box. This is where the user will type in what they want to find out about. Input and then write on key up equals and then in quotes get answer in parentheses um document dot get capital E element by with a capital B ID with a capital I but no capital D for some reason. I don't know why. Um in a different kind of quotes query box end quote and parentheses dot value yeah dot value okay and then close that parentheses semicolon and end quotes and then close the input tag slash input Okay, now, oh wait, no, no, I forgot something. In the input, you gotta do id is id equals in quotes query box. Ha, almost forgot that. Oh, apparently you don't close input tags, okay. I don't know. Open a div. Div id equals in quotes answer. This is where we will get the search result from DuckDuckGo to appear. And close the div. We don't need to put anything inside it. And now open a script tag. Script and inside write function get answer open parentheses, Q, close parentheses, open curly brackets, and on the next line, dollar sign, dot get, in parentheses, and in quotes, https colon slash slash api dot duck duck go dot com slash question mark Q equals, then end quotes, plus Q, so that, you know, it'll add this variable here, there, where the query for DuckDuckGo goes, plus, and then in quotes, and sign, format equals JSON, no caps, close quotes, um, comma, function, in parentheses, a, and then open curly braces, b, equals, um, json dot parse, open parentheses, um, a semicolon and then um, if in parentheses b dot abstract with a capital A oh I didn't capitalize the A whoops abstract equals sign equals sign quote close quote so that it's you know blank 
close parentheses, open curly brackets, then document dot get element with a capital E, element by with a capital B, ID with a capital I but not a capital D, um, open parentheses, open quotes, answer, close quotes, close parentheses, dot inner HTML, HTML is capitalized, inner is not, equals, in quotes, no results found. Close quotes, semicolon, and close curly braces. Else, open curly braces, document dot get element by id in parentheses and quotes answer and quote and parentheses dot inner html equals open quotes h1 tag close quotes um plus sign um, b dot heading with a capital H b dot heading plus in quotes again closing h1 tag slash h h1 and then image tag source equals open little quote close big quote plus b dot image with a capital I plus open big quotes close little quotes um, with equals in little quotes um, 100 close little quotes and then close that BR for line break and then um, close big quotes plus sign b dot um, not heading abstract with a capital A um, semicolon enter close curly braces enter close another curly braces close parentheses semicolon close curly braces close script tag and run we have a little text box let's type in it duck duck go oh oh i know what went wrong up here we need to make a variable called b var b semicolon now hit run now let's try this duck duck go I found the problem I spelled function wrong let's try it again use our little box and let's type duck duck go bam duck duck go duck duck go is an internet search engine that specializes in bleh, stuff try w3 schools w3 schools is a popular website for learning web technologies online it works hopefully you learned from something from this video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe check out my website at cuckneycurb.gq don't forget to subscribe to kid z he's a vlogger he's cool yeah thanks for watching bye